Mr. Chairman, dear friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Hundred, year, hundred years since the founding of the ILO have been completed this year. And this is an opportunity to make an objective evaluation from the perspective of the whole working class, to draw the true conclusions from the side of the militant trade union movement, to assess the results. We believe that the ILO history is uh, delivered into two main periods. From its foundation until 1990 and from 1990 until today. In the first period, it played a positive role in general and often worked as a mechanism of protection of workers' rights. The international correlations benefited and supported the role of the ILO with the positive role of the Soviet Union, of the People's Republic of China, of many other socialist countries and the non-aligned countries movement. Those uh, favorable correlations had an important ally by their side, the militant trade union movement with the leading role at, the, at that time of the World Federation of Trade Unions. They had uh, by their side the great class struggles of all workers. The successes in established remakeable achievements, such as example, collective bargaining agreements, social security, improved salaries and working conditions of the working women, working time, wage increase, progress of democratic and trade union freedoms was the results of this circumstances. Trade unions were established in every corner of the planet. No matter how much ink is being spilled by modern slanderers, the truth will always shine. Following the 1989-1991 overthrows and the changes of the took place, the situation and role of the ILO, as well as of all international organizations also changed. These days, here in the annual conference, ministers, prime ministers arrived, they used big words, empty promise, and tried to present a picture of virtual reality. Before 1990, employers did not want to hear about the ILO. Now, they consider in their ally and friend. Why? But, however, what some people say, the truth is at the workplaces where workers suffer from the state violence and the authoritarianism, from unemployment and layoffs, from black labor, from privatizations, from poverty and the capitalist barbarity. The truth lies in the Mediterranean, for example, in Mediterranean Sea, where mothers and children our children are being browned in the efforts of uh, escape imperialist aggressions. This picture is also a result of the role played by ILO and of the current situation within the leaderships of the trade union movement. From 1960, for example, the blockade against Cuba continues against the Degens. When did the international organization do? In the Rana Plaza, for example, in Bangladesh, on 21st, 24 April 2018, 1,132 girls and women were murdered. What the result from the international organizations? In Colombia, over the last three years, 600 trade union militants have been murdered. Who was punished for the, these crimes? In uh, Chile, for example, the government undermined with the anti-democratic methods the independent functioning of the CAT. What did the responsible office from the regional ILO office? What uh, have the international organizations done the pro to protect in workers in Palestine, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, etc.? 
Today, heads of state, some came here and tell, finally, I, I, uh, I will conclude with uh, tell the, the next. For example, one very important example. Mr. Macron was here and uh, speak from this podium. At the same time, he was attacked the beach, the protesters who fired 1,000 workers from uh, Central uh, Carbon de Cardan, who also Minister of Mr. Macron, Member of Parliament, who his party, Mr. Mohamed Lahida, threatened the close the functioning of the Trade Union Center of UD CZT Tres. Finally, we believe that the picture only by today's workers can and must be changed with their united, class-oriented struggles by strengthening the unions at the base, by emphasizing trade union democracy. The hope for us lies in our struggles. Thank you very much. Je remercie M. Mavrikos, représentant de la Fédération syndicale mondiale, pour son intervention. Mesdames et Messieurs, j'ai le plaisir de vous dire que nous sommes arrivés à la fin de la liste des orateurs de la journée, mais j'ai encore quelques annonces à vous faire. Avant de lever cette séance, je souhaite vous rappeler que le Conseil fédéral suisse le Conseil d'État de la République et du canton de Genève et le Conseil administra administratif de la ville de Genève ont l'honneur de vous convier à une réception à l'occasion du centenaire de l'OIT. Cette réception a lieu dans la cour d'honneur ici derrière et que cette, cette réception et cet événement aura lieu aussi en présence de son Excellence M. Guy Parmelin, conseiller fédéral suisse de M. Guy Ryder, directeur général du BIT, et de son Excellence M. Mauro Poggia, conseiller d'État de la République et du canton de Genève. Merci de porter visiblement votre badge pour accéder à cet événement. Je déclare close la séance de cet après-midi de la 108e session de la Conférence internationale du travail et vous dis à bientôt.